Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you will not miss a future video. Welcome to the channel, the Tech Canna Player Kid. A black background with white text that reads the Tech Canna Player Kid displays on the screen with the same text written to the right in Braille. What is up everyone, the Tech Piano Player Kid here and welcome to chapter 14, finally. <laughs> so we left off where Luthor big Alvin to take him back and he's now his 13 year old self and he's back at the top of the um, place where he was about to jump off. We found out that Scarlet died, <laughs> unfortunately. Then Scarlet was brought back to life because we revived her through time. Then Soul killed himself and that basically that pretty much killed Scarlet mentally and Scarlet basically just said just beg Alvin to take you back just beg him to take you back and pretty much the moment she said that she was like I didn't mean that just don't do it and Luthor pretty much did it anyway because Alvin knew it was gonna happen so we're back now in original time to pretty much say it in that way so I think we know what's gonna happen but I really hope they can get Zoe out of there because I don't want any kids dying in this. But, uh, why? Why does it have to end up like this? Why? At least Riley gets... Oh, wait. Never mind. Well, we actually do know what happens with Riley because we know Riley gets saved because, well, you know, because we know Riley's already in Time Crest 1 and 2. So, hence that. So, let's do this. Close to the sun. Messages. A monochrome like 560 gold. All right. <clears throat> Messages. Chapter 14. Chapter 14. Description. Luther click open the pocket watch. System message. Gain 250 relationship with young Luther. All right. That's uh, a good sign. I guess. Actually, this is a good sign. Description. Luther is atop the sovereign eye, standing near the edge where he jumped off. Description. Everything around Luther is hazy. Alvin, will it be better for Scarlet in this timeline? Red message, how did you feel when Scarlet asked you to beg me to save her brother? Wait, ha, huh? what? 50, 50, 50, 60% words, red mess, how did you feel when Scarlet asked you to beg me to save her brother? What? Wait, so Scarlet said that, but Alvin may, uh, that gets really confusing. I understand why she did it. Red message, but it must have stung at least a little when the one person you were beginning to trust in Alinsky asked you to beg me, knowing everything it would cost you. She did what she had to. Description, Luther paused, took a deep breath and shook his head. Description, Luther squeezed the watch. In a cold, will, description, Whoops. Luther squeezed the watch. In a cold voice, he said, Will things, will things be better for Scarlet in this timeline? Red message, Soul will still kill her in this timeline, but we bought her more time to live. What? 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 Why? What? Why does so kill her? <clears throat> Description. Luther frowned, shaking his head. Her brother is still going to kill her? Red message. Yes. For the Ignis amulet that Scarlet will one day create. Description. Luther sighed. How much time did I buy her? Red message. Almost ten more years. Description. Luther closed his eyes for a moment. Why didn't you say anything before when I asked you if it would be better for Scarlet in this timeline? Red message, I said I wouldn't interfere. He has a point. He has a point. Red message, the choice to come back to this timeline, to become Luther Time Crest again was yours. Description, Luther took a deep breath and looked up at the dark skies above. I guess Scarlet will forget everything that happened between us. Red message, do you want Scarlet to remember you? Description, Luther's expression is unreadable. Will she remember me? Red message, she shouldn't remember you since you've moved back in time and since everything between you two technically didn't happen. Red message, but you remember her. Smiley face emoji. Oh, uh, every time he puts a smiley face, I don't know why, but it creeps me out. Like, not in that way, just like... Sorry, guys, I had hit my microphone. My microphone stand. But, I don't know, just the way he... I don't know. Alvin Timecrest is... 
As I said, interesting. Red message. It's very possible an exception will happen with her too. Red message. Though if Scarlet forgets you, at least you still have your counterpart. System message. Luther is. You still have me, Luther. One of three response. I understand what Scarlet did too. I hope she's okay now. Two of three. Why did Soul kill Scarlet for the Ignis amulet? Three of three response. Okay, now I want to really know why. Why did Soul kill Scarlet for the Ignis amulet? Res are you going to answer my counterpart's question? Why did Red? Are you going Whoops. to answer my counterpart's question? Why did Soul kill Scarlet for the Ignis amulet? Red message. Scarlet created the Ignis amulet and gave the credit to Soul. Then what? That doesn't make any sense. Red message, but jealousy still consumed him in the end. Of course. Red message, soul hasn't changed much in this timeline. System message, memory desync detected. <sighs> See, soul is very... He does have a temper tantrum. Really, he does. He's very... Huh. Red message, it looks like... Red message, your red message, it looks like I'm not allowed here. Red message, your counterpart is able to bend far more rules than me. Smiley face emoji. Stop using those smiley emojis, please. It's freaking me out. Red message, these desks happen only when I speak out of place. I still don't understand what he means by that. That means. That means. I'll be speaking to your past self soon. Huh. That's how it works, right? Red message, you're catching on to how this works. Red message, <sighs> though, I wonder what will happen if you reference Scarlet Ignis to my past self. <sighs> Description, Luther dug a nail into his palm. The new past with Scarlet led me back to the place you expected. This is the same timeline where you kill my parents and I kill the Valdorians. <sighs> Red message, this timeline has always been unavoidable because of who you are, Luther. Why, though? Why does he... There has to be a reason why he does it. But here's my thing. Isn't there a way to save all the children in this? Because, like, like from the Valdorian, blah, blah, Valdi, Vald, <clears throat> Valdorians, because, like, I don't. I don't <sighs> Red message, because of you, the new past your counterpart created has now merged with the original past. What does that mean? Red message, whatever chance of a new life your counterpart gave you is now gone. Description, Luther paused. He looked down at the watch, his expression sad. Our counterpart, me and Scarlet's. Red message, you still care about her. Red message, and I wonder how these memories of Scarlet will change the Luther I know. Description, <sighs> Luther paused. You know what I'm going to do next, don't you, Alvin? <sighs> Red message, <clears throat> very impressive, Luther. You're still thinking ahead even after everything you've been through. You know what I'm going to do next and you know I'm going to fail. Red message, <sighs> my past self doesn't, but I know you're about to ask me for my time magic. <sighs> Description, Luther swallowed hard. Red message, you know that Ezra will come for you once you inherit my time magic. <gasps> Red message, and you want to prevent yourself from killing all the Valdorians by letting Ezra take you. System message, Luther is waiting. <gasps> Doesn't Ezra essentially kill time crests he takes? You're ready to give up your life, Luther. One of two responses, what's going to happen to us if you let Ezra take you, Luther? Two of two responses, button. Hmm. Doesn't Ezra essentially kill time crests he takes? You're ready to give up your life, Luther. Doesn't Ezra... I'll do that Ezra one, because... Responded, description, Luther nodded. I came back to this timeline to give Scarlet back her life. But I don't want my parents to die or to destroy Walder. So I was going to beg First Mage Ezra to take me away. Red message, yes, you were never planning to live in this timeline even though you came back to it. Red message, it's a nice little plan, Luther. Red message, you did catch my past self off guard before. Red message, but you're right, you did fail. Red message, you forgot that the chrono gem I planted inside you will save you from Ezra. He won't take you away. <sighs> Description, Luther dug a nail into his palm. Then I'll just change my plan. Red message, the past likes to stay the same. Nature's rules and all that. <sighs> I won't ask for your time magic. Red message, have you forgotten everything I said about changing the past? The past already changed. Description, Luther's voice broke for a moment. He took a few deep breaths and squeezed the watch in his hand. I met Scarlet. I remember her. Huh. And our counterpart, mine and hers, already changed the past. Red message, I can't deny that. Smiley face emoji. 
Why does he use these smiley emojis at random places? Red message. This human counterpart has been particularly gifted with triggering exceptions. System message. Memory sync initiating. Red message. Good luck, Luther. I do hope you can surprise. System <laughs> message. Memory sync initiated. <sighs> Description. Everything around Luther became clear. Description. Rain poured down. <sighs> Description. King Janus knelt next to an injured Van Dem. He looked at Luther with bewilderment. Description. The king kept one hand around Riley's arm, holding his daughter beside him. Her breath caught in her throat as she looked at Luther with shock and relief. <laughs> Description. Riley said, Luther, ellipsis, are you really there? I thought, ellipsis, you, ellipsis, died, ellipsis. Description. Riley covered her mouth and began to sob. She said, you're okay. You're okay, ellipsis. I'm so glad you're okay. Description. She started to move towards Luther, but her father pulled her back and held her in place beside him. Description. The rain that poured down continued to mix with and spread the blood that had spilt over the sovereign knife from Riley and High Commander Valdem. Description. Atora, who had been hit with an attack from the previously possessed Riley, struggled to stand. She also looked at Luther. Description. The large vision mirror covering the floor of the sovereign eye continued to pan through images of the quarantine zone. Okay, that was kind of cool. There were, it was almost it was on the beat for a few seconds. That was cool. Description. Luther clutched his head. What's this? Words are coming to me. Description. Luther closed his eyes. Temporus Deathlow. Okay, guys. So, fun fact about that. I looked this up. Temporus Deathlow. It's actually Latin. And it means... Uh... Temp... I think... What was it? Um, Deathlow. If, I get, if, I get, if I'm not getting confused here... It means, like, freeze, disappear... I think, and then temporis means like time, unless I get things, and this, unless they're switched around. But basically, it just basically means time disappears. And if you're wondering, how'd you know that was Latin? <sighs> just by the way it sounds, really. Description Luther stood still. No. Description He swallowed hard as the rain poured down around him. This is your time magic, isn't it, Alvin? Red message Yes. Red message. Oh. Temporis death below is the power to freeze time. You can freeze anyone or anything you want except for Ezra and myself. Then how do you unfreeze it? I don't want it. Take it back. Red message. What's the matter, Luther? Red message. You finally have time magic of your own. Don't you want to try it out? Description. Luther clutched a watch, looking desperate. I'm not here to join you, so take back your time magic. Red message. Red message. You're acting very peculiar, Luther. Smile. Description. Red ah. message. You're acting very peculiar, Luther. Smiley face emoji. <sighs> Description. A large shadow fell across the sovereign eye and a roar came from above. Glancing up, Luther saw the shape of a dragon flying high in the sky. Description. The dragon circled above the eye, but did not come down. Red message. He's here. <gasps> Hi. Description. Luther's eyes widened. He swallowed hard as the dragon rider jumped off the dragon and landed on the eye, unhurt. <gasps> Description. The dragon drew close to the sovereign eye, but didn't land. <gasps> Description. Luther looked at the dragon rider before him. The young man appears no more than 20 years old. He has dark, green eyes and brown hair with hints of copper. Description. The dragon rider is wearing a large, majestic cloak, adorned with gold hems and jewels of different colors. There is an air about him that makes Luther look on in silence. Description. <gasps> Luther's odd expression soon changed to dread as he continued to look at the dragon rider. <gasps> Description. Riley said, Luther. Description. She reached her hand out to him as her father continued to hold onto her. Description, Janice looked down at his daughter with disappointment. Description, he said, Hi, Commander Vald M, the man who would give his life for you and Walder, is dying before you and still, the only thing you can think about is that boy. Description, Riley looks taller. Description, Janice motioned towards Vald M and, with deference, he said, First Mage Ezra Walder, the ancestor and forefather of the great empire of Walder, I implore you to heal this loyal servant of Walder. <sighs> Description, Ezra waved his hand and a barrier came up that blocked out everyone else on the Sovereign Eye, leaving him alone with Luther. Description. Luther gulped. He took a deep breath. First, Mage Ezra, please listen to what I have to say. Alden might have given me his time magic, but I'm not planning to join him. He wants to kill my parents and have me destroy Walder. I only want to stop those things from happening. And to be free of Alden. Description. Ezra paused and said, Alden. Description. Ezra said, he told you his name. Alden said my destiny is to destroy all of Walder. Please don't let me do that, First Mage. Description. Ezra said, why did he tell you his name, Luther Tynecrest? 
Description. Luther blinked and shook his head. He just introduced himself as Alvin Timechrist, the time manipulator Crow knows I was trying to contact. <sighs> Description. Ezra was silent. His head hung low, hair covering his eyes. First, Mage Ezra, are you okay? You're shaking a little. Is it really that strange for Alvin to tell me his name? Description. Ezra remained silent for a bit before finally looking at Luther and saying, Your privilege, Luther. That's not how I feel. First, Mage Ezra. I feel cursed. Description. Ezra didn't reply. Description. Luther took a deep breath. And I hope you believe that I don't want to join him. Description. Ezra paused. He said, It's good you haven't used the time magic he's given you. Description. Luther looks hopeful. He nodded. I just want to be free from Alvin. Description. Luther wrapped his arms around himself and shivered. I don't care what you do to me as long as I don't become Alvin's puppet. Description. Ezra said, In order to free you from Alvin, I will have to shut down your mind and your emotions. You will be alive, but you will never have another thought again. You will never be able to dream or live inside your own head. I cannot imagine something like that. Description. Ezra said, Everything you once knew, all your memories of who you are, people you loved, things that made you laugh and cry will be gone. There will be nothing left of you except your physical form. That'd be tough. Description. Ezra said, In this state, you'll stay with me until you die. I will make sure you die. Message. Ah. Description. Ezra said, In this state, you'll stay with me until you die. I will make sure you die of natural age only, when your counterpart can't revive you. How does he know about that? <gasps> Description. Ezra said all this calmly, without any emotion. Luther's breathing quickened. Description. Luther shook his head. Like I said, I don't care what happens to me. And I'm okay with you taking me away, First Mage Ezra. That's actually what I had originally planned. But Alvin said you won't succeed in taking me because of the chronogen inside me. I spoke with future Alvin. All of this. Description. Luther waved his arm at the surroundings. Is supposed to be the past or some memory or something. And Reddit. Description. Luther searched for words. <laughs> okay, ignore the Reddit thing, guys. That's just something that came. So, we have to do something different. If you try to take me away, the chronogen will stop you. We have to do something different if we want to change the past, First Mage Ezra. Description. Ezra frowned. In a cold tone, he said, Enough. You're coming with me. Description. Luther sighed. I want to come with you. I just don't think it's going to work, First Mage Ezra. Description. Ezra said, Dice were. Description. Ezra said, You've been compromised by Alvin. That part is clear to me. You are coming with me today. What about this chronogen inside me? Description. Luther lowered his gaze, his expression apprehensive. Description. Ezra said, I don't sense anything strange inside you. System message. Luther is waiting. I wish there was something I could do to help you, Luther. One of three written. I sense this is not- Hey, Alvin. You still there? Three written. I wish there was something I could do to help you, Luther. One of three written. I wish there was something I could do to help you, Luther. Resp description. Description. He looked around him. The barrier- Des Description. He looked around him. The barrier that Ezra put up still blocked the rest of the Sovereign Eye from view. Description. Ezra said, there's nowhere for you to run. I don't want to run. I'm just worried you won't be able to take me away. I'm just worried nothing has changed so far. Description. Luther looked back at Ezra. Watch out for the chronogen, first mage. I don't know what it does, but please don't let it stop you. Description. Ezra said, it won't. You and your counterpart have caused so many exceptions that I can't let you go free. <gasps> okay, good. Description. Luther paused. But before we go, I just have two requests. First, can you show me my younger sibling, Ash, and my parents if they are still alive? Description. Ezra thought for a bit before he waved his hand and the image on the Sovereign Eye changed to Luther's parents holding baby Ash. Luther's parents seem to be having a heated conversation with a Valdorian guard. Both their faces are marked with worry. Ash was in the middle of crying. Description. Aww. Luther knelt down, pushing aside some of the blood covering the vision mirror of the Sovereign Eye so he could get a better look at his parents. Description. Luther swallowed hard as he looked at Helena and Julius. Thank you for being my parents. I'm so lucky to have been born as a reed. I wish you both could know that this is the last thing I said to you. Description. Luther put his hand on baby Ash's face. I wasn't able to keep my word to you, Ash. I wasn't able to live out my life in that future like I said. Description. Luther sighed. I wish I could keep my promise and cure the pain you'll feel from your scar, Ash. I wish I could make King Jinnas forget the grudge he has against the time crests again. What? Description. <laughs> Luther looked at Ezra. First mage, you can erase the thoughts and emotions of time crests. You can do a lot more than my memory serum can. Can you help remove the knowledge of time crests from King Janus? If you do that, King Janus will free humans from the quarantine zones. Description. Ezra's expression turned stern. He said, Know this, Luther time crest. Exceptions put Alincia in danger. I am here to protect our world and limit the number of exceptions we experience. 
Description. Ezra said, The only reason I allow myself to create exceptions while immobilizing a time crust is because time crusts are always the cause of the greatest exceptions in Olympia. <sighs> Description. Luther paused. Okay, imagine that you were actually the... What's that? No. Yeah. Imagine that you were actually the first or second human and you were actually a time crest and you never knew. Oh, that'd be so weird. I see. But I still have to ask, can you help me take away the pain of Ash's star? Description. Ezra said, I can, but I won't. Why? Description. Luther frowned. Description. He took a deep breath and looked back at baby Ash again. Luther's expression softened. I wish I could see you become a mage, Ash. I'm sure you'll be stronger than me one day. I hope our parents never tell you about me. I think you'll be happier never knowing you had a big brother. And what I wish most of all is for your life to be filled with happiness, Ash Reed. Description. Luther paused. For my second request, can you show me Scarlet in this? Description. Ezra waved his hand in the sovereign I showed Scarlet and Soul outside of Boulder. Description. Soul is walking away while Scarlet stood, facing Boulder. She is clutching Scarlet. Whoops. Description. Soul is walking away while Scarlet stood, facing Boulder. She is clutching her heart. Scarlet. Description. Luther took a deep breath. I hope you're happy for as long as you live. <gasps> Description. After a moment, the image of Scarlet and Soul faded from the Sovereign Eye and the Eye showed Luther's family again. Description. Luther paused. Did you change the image back, First Mage Ezra? Description. Ezra frowned and said, no. Description. Luther looks uneasy. <gasps> Maybe what we just saw is the past correcting itself so it can stay the same. Description. <gasps> Luther stood up, looking anxious. We should go. Description. Ezra eyed Luther for a moment. He said, before I take you, I have a question to ask you. Description, Ezra said, but first. Description, Ezra raised his hand and said, I'm going to temporarily block the human from sending you messages. I need the answer to this question to be yours alone. System message, Luther is waiting. Test, this response is strangely darkened, suggesting a spell may be blocking it. Test, this response. Responded, description, Luther and Ezra looked at each other. Responded, the response appears to have been blocked and scrambled by a spell. TST. <laughs> TST. <laughs> Well, if I got that, then I'll be like, test. For the most part. Description. Luther and Ezra looked at each other. Description. Ezra said, Luther Timecrist, if you had the choice between saving all of Alencia or just one person, which would you choose? Description. Luther looked into Ezra's eyes as he thought. I'm sorry we've been such a burden to you, First Mage Ezra. Description. Ezra narrowed his eyes. You chose to save us, the people of Alencia, in exchange for someone important to you. Description. Luther paused. But this world isn't made for me. I don't know if I want to save it. I just want to see the people I care about do well and be happy. I'm selfish, First Mage Ezra. Description, Ezra's expressions often from mere moment. Description, Ezra said, I can see why he told you his name, you. Description, Ezra said, you remind me of Alvin, Luther Timecrist. Description, Ezra walked up to Luther and placed his hand on Luther's head. He said, I'll be taking you with me now, messenger. Description, ah. Luther squeezed his eyes shut. Go ahead, First Mage Ezra. I'm ready. Just go ahead. First Whoops. Mage Ezra. I'm ready. Description. As Ezra's expression changed to one of sadness, a light appeared in between him and Luther. Description. Ezra lowered his hand from Luther's head and backed away. Luther shielded his eyes against the light. Description. The light came out of Luther and formed itself into something. After a moment, the chrono gem formed in midair between Luther and Ezra. Description. Huh. Ezra pointed at the gem and said, What is that? Description. Luther opened his eyes and blinked. The chrono. What's that? Ah. Description. Luther opened his eyes and blinked. The chrono gem covered him and Ezra in bright light. <gasps> Description. Luther swallowed hard. It's the chrono gem. Description. Luther rushed over to Ezra and grabbed onto the first mage's cloak. First mage, please remember that Alvin is going to use the chrono gem to stop you from taking me away. You can't let him do that. You can't let Alvin get what he wants. Description. Ezra shook his head as he glanced at the gem. Description. After a moment, his eyes widened. He said, there's something inside the chrono gem that I have never seen before. Description. Luther tugged at Ezra's cloak, looking horrified as the first mage continued to fixate his attention on the chrono gem. Description. Ezra said, and I've seen everything in Alincia except for one thing. But this can't be real. My eyes must be playing tricks on me. Red message. That is my aura you see, my friend. Description. Luther is speechless as he squinted at the light of the chrono gem. Red message. I hope you fed Greeny a dragonberry pie today. Red message. You never wanted a pet. So I fear you haven't fed him any treats since I was banished. Description. Ezra stumbled backwards. His expression looked like one of a scared child. <laughs> I don't blame him. I really don't blame him. For someone that he hasn't heard for... System message. Luther is waiting. A thousand years, I think? Yeah. Hey, 
Alvin of the future, are you still there? Ezra will kill Riley one day. What's a green it? This response is strange. Okay, now I'm curious. What is that? What's a green it? This response is strangely responded. The response appears to have been blocked and scrambled by a spell. That's a GI. Description. Ezra placed a hand over his heart momentarily. Are you okay? First mage Ezra. Red message. Can you unscramble the pocket watch? Ezra? Red message. Luther's human counterpart tried to say something just now. Description. Ezra looks confused. He tugged at the collar of his clothing as if he was having trouble breathing. Description. Ezra said, it's you. It's really you, Alvin. Description. Ezra said, how is it possible that I'm hearing your voice now? Description. Luther let go of Ezra's cloak and shook his head. His eyes filled with dread. Description. Ezra said, your spell does not allow you to speak with anyone else besides time crests and their human counterpart. Red message. We have the crow no gem to thank for this, Ezra. Or actually, we should be thanking Luther. Red message. I was waiting for a time crest smart enough to make the container I needed to show you my aura. Description. Huh. Ezra pinched the bridge of his nose and shook his head. Red message. I know this is a lot to take in. We haven't spoken for 1,000 years. Red message. But can you unscramble the pocket watch? Red message. I'm actually very interested in what this particular human counterpart has to say. Description. Ezra blinked and said, you can just override my magic. Red message. The only thing I wish to override you on, Ezra, is your desire to be miserable for the rest of your life. Whew. Description. Ezra lowered his gaze. Description. Ezra said, there's no need for the human to interfere with this conversation. Red message. I don't see Luther's counterpart as an interference. Red message. And now that we've heard Luther's answer to your question, it shouldn't be an issue for you to unscramble the watch. Description. Ezra stood, looking away from the light of the chrono gem. Red message. I see. Red message. You don't have an issue with unscrambling the watch. Red message. You just don't want to fall into old habits of doing what I want. Am I right, Ezra? Description. Ezra's eyes widened. He swallowed hard. Red message. I understand you, Ezra, and you don't have to do what I ask now. Red message. But I hope you remember that I've always had your best interests. Not once did I ask you to do something that I knew would hurt you. Description. Ezra breathed in deeply. Description. Ezra gazed at the pocket watch and waved his hand. Description. He said, it's done. I removed my magic that scrambles the counterpart's messages, Alvin. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Red message. Thank you, Ezra. Description. Ezra is shaking his head, looking at his own hand that removed the scrambling spell as if it just betrayed him. <laughs> System message. Hey, Alvin of the future, are you still there? Or is this all just past Alvin? What? Eh, what's a greenick? Three of- What's a greenick? Three of three- Responded. Red message. Green is the name Ezra and I gave to the Emerald Dragon we encountered the day I came to Alincia. Description. Ezra gave a small smile. Red message. We gave many things in this world a name. Red message. Alincia is my favorite. Though Ezra gets all the credit for coming up with that name though. Description. Luther looks agitated. I know you and Alvin were friends. First mage Ezra. It must be overwhelming to see his aura for the first time. Description. Luther shook his head. Not to mention, you're hearing his voice after 1000 years. But future Alvin, past Alvin, both of them knew that the Chrono Gem would stop you from taking me, and they boldly taunted me with that information. The Alvins were confident you wouldn't take me with you with the Chrono Gem inside <laughs> the me. The Alvins. You were the one who banished Alvin, first mage. Don't let him get control of you with the Chrono Gem. Description, Ezra ignored Luther. <laughs> of course he did. Red message, I know you didn't betray me, Ezra. Description, Ezra clenched his hands into fists and said, no, I did. You're the only person that showed me mercy when I was nothing and I betrayed you, Alvin. I'm not a good man. I never was. Red message. No, Ezra. I understand you better than anyone else and I know you didn't betray me. Red message. You wanted to save Alincia and you wanted to save me. Red message. I can return home whenever I want to, but I'm not going anywhere without you, Ezra. Description. Ezra stared at the ground, <gasps> averting his gaze from the chrono gem. <gasps> Red message. The reason that you suffer is because you are a good man. You gave up your own happiness. But for what, Ezra? <gasps> Description. Ezra's eyes widened. Red message, you dreamt that you could create a world without selfishness, where people are kind-hearted to each other, a world worth giving up everything for. Red message, it's the dream of a good man. Red message, but your ability to see the aura in all things also lets you see that this world is not good enough. Red message, when your people called you a good king, you saw that they were only trying to gain favors with you. Red message, when people promised to be kind to one another, you saw the fear and hate in their hearts. Red message, so do you still believe in your own dream? And, if not, what did you give up your happiness for, Ezra? Description, Ezra said, for everyone to live, I chose to save everyone. Description, Ezra dropped to his knees. Red message, you are a good man, Ezra Holder. Red message, you are also my friend. Red message, no matter what it takes, how long it takes, I'm coming back to Alincia, because I chose to save you. 
<gasps> Description. Luther knelt down next to Ezra. You can't let Alvin get to you. First Mage Ezra. <gasps> Description. The Crow No Gem floated above Luther and sunk back down into his body, disappearing. Description. <gasps> the light vanished and Luther clutched his chest. Description. Ezra stood up. He said, I need to go. Description. Luther grabbed onto Ezra's cloak. What about me? You said you were going to take me away. <gasps> Description. Ezra repeated, I need to go. Description. <gasps> Luther clung to Ezra's cloak. You have to take me with you, First Mage Ezra. I don't know when I'm going to be manipulated into destroying Valder. Description. Luther shook his head. And I can't. I can't live with myself if I did that. I can't. And I can't. I can't live with myself if I did that. I can't. Description. Luther tugged at Ezra's cloak. Please help me. Please help my parents. <laughs> Alvin is planning to make King Janus kill them. Ellipsis. <laughs> Description. Ezra shook his head. Description. Ezra phased away in the cloak that Luther clutched onto disappeared. Description. Ezra's barrier disappeared along with him. Description. Riley, Ator, and Valdan were no longer on the Sovereign Eye. Oh, cold chill. Description. Oh. Only Janus remained and he frowned when he only saw Luther. Description. Oh. The pocket watch slipped from Luther's hand and clattered to the ground. Luther leaned forward until he was on all fours, his chest heaving up and down rapidly. <gasps> Red message. I did say the crow no gen will protect you from Ezra. Red message. My aura will continue to protect you from Ezra. <gasps> Red message. Also, with my aura inside of me, I don't need the pocket watch to sense you or communicate with you anymore. Why? Why does your aura protect me from the first mage? <gasps> Red message. He won't treat you like the other time crests with my aura inside of you. Ha? Huh? Why would the first mage care about your aura when he vanished you away? Red message. That's a stupid question, Luther. I told you Ezra still cares for me. Red message. And thanks to you, he knows that now. <gasps> Wait a second. I think I just put two and two together. And I could be wrong. I could, I could be completely wrong on this. What if that... Same aura, aura that was in Luthor is an Ash. And that's why Ash is getting, no. is, an, and that's why Ash is getting those messages too. What if that's the case? I wonder if that's it. No. Red message, and thanks to you, he knows that now. <gasps> Red message. That's a stupid question. R no. Description. Luther shook his head, a frightened expression on his face. No, I'm not going to let you get what you want. Description. Luther looked down at the ground of the sovereign eye. An expression of terror spread across his face as he saw his parents with ash. Description. Luther looked at Janus. Description. Luther swallowed hard. Temporus death row. Description. Time froze around Luther. Janus froze and the rain stopped falling. Description. Even Luther's parents and Ash, as seen through the Sovereign Eye, appears to be frozen as well. <gasps> Red message. Impressive. All of Boulder is frozen right now. I've always known you'd be good with time magic. <gasps> Description. Luther got up off the ground and walked over to Janna's. Description. He swallowed hard as he rummaged around Janna's clothes. Luther slowly retrieved the dagger that Janna's had offered him before. Description. Luther held up the dagger against Janna's throat. I, I'm sorry, King Janna's. I have to, Ellipsis. I have to kill you before you kill my parents. Description. Luther's hands are trembling. Red message. We both know you can do it, Luther. Red mess. We both know you can't. Red message. You can't even convince yourself to keep Janus frozen forever because to you that would be killing him. <gasps> Does it matter if I convince myself to keep King Janus frozen? You can just unfreeze him at any time, can't you, Alvin? Red message. Of course. The only way your parents will live is if you change my mind. <gasps> I can do it. Kappa can. Description. Luther squeezed the handle of the dagger. His hands continued to tremble. I can do it. Description. Luther shook his head. I. I can do it. Description. The dagger dropped from Luther's hand and fell to the ground with a deafening sound. Ugh, darn it. I wish that. I wish. <laughs> Red message. From the looks of it, you couldn't change your fate, Luther. Red message. Which is probably what my future self told you, didn't he? Description. A tear trickled down from Luther's cheek. Red message. I will have to say, this is a hard earned tear from you, Luther. Shut up. Shut up. Description. Shut up. Shut up. Description. More tears fell. I'm not going to kill the Valdorians for you, Alvin. Red message. You don't kill the Valdorians for me, Luther. Red message. Why would I want you to? I can control the minds of any Valdorian because they are Ezra's descendants. <gasps> Red message. But I'm willing to give them up for you to come to my side, Luther. 
Wait. Red message, but I'm willing to give them up for you to come to my side. Lies. Killing all the Valdorians must benefit you somehow. Description. Luther sunk to the ground and touched his parents' faces displayed on the ground in the sovereign eye. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. I'm sorry I failed to change anything. I'm sorry I can't kill King Janus for you. Description. Luther covered his mouth for a moment. Description. Luther pushed himself up from the ground. But I can still fix it. I don't need the first mage. Description. He looked at the edge of the sovereign eye. I'm not going to let you have me, Alvin. Red message. I don't want you to kill yourself again, Luther. Description. Luther suddenly buckled over as if he had been hit by something. <gasps> I don't like this. <gasps> Why? Red message. I've just given you back the memories of all the pain you felt the moment you hit the ground from your last fall. <gasps> Description. Luther screamed as he contorted on the floor. <gasps> Red message. You've had your chance in the other future and you messed it up. Red message. <gasps> it's time for you to join me, Luther Timecrest. Red message, I have the ability to bring Ezra and you to the human world once I'm back in Alincia. Red message, you can meet your counterpart in person. Red message, you can meet me in person. Red message, you have experienced your future without me. Red message, you know what it's like to live with people who will never understand you. Red message, I am offering you a chance to be your true self. I am offering you freedom at last. Description, Luther swallowed on the ground as he wrapped his arms around his trembling body. System message, Luther is waiting, stop torturing Luther like this, one of two respo- What are you offering me, Alvin? Two of two responses, button. <gasps> I don't know which one to pick! Stop. What are you offering me, Alvin? Two of two responses, <gasps> what are you offering me, Alvin? Responded, what are you- Red message, a choice. Uh, Red message, what? I believe you're a rule breaker. I want us to be friends. Huh? Red message, but that choice is yours. Description, Luther continued to reel from pain. Red message, it's time for you to join me, Luther. I know it's what you want. I don't want to join you. I only begged you because Scarlet was in so much pain from losing her brother. I came back to this timeline to die. I never- Red message, I came back to this timeline huh? to die. I never wanted to join you. Red message, you didn't beg me for Scarlet. System message, memory desync detect- 8 seconds. A palish huh? blue dust circles the screen. One seconds. A palish blue dust circle. I only begged you because Scarlet was. I came. Red message. I Red message. You didn't beg me for Scarlet. I came back to this timeline to die. I know. Red message. You didn't. I came back to this timeline to die. I never wanted to join you. Red message. You didn't beg me for Scarlet. System message. Memory desync. Description. Luther cringed as he continued to tremble in pain. How would you know I didn't beg you for Scarlet? Do you even know who Scarlet is? Red message. I know who she is. I was there. I saw what you did. Description. Huh? Luther swallowed hard. You are Alvin from the future. You are Alvin. Red message, I know you enjoyed testing your serum on Janus. Red message, and you begged me because you know it too. System message, memory sync initiated. Description, Luther's eyes opened. Huh? Description, he laid face down, sprawled out on the sovereign eye. Red message, you stopped writhing around. Yet, I know you're still feeling pain, Luther. I did enjoy it. I felt excited when I tested my serum on King Janus. I wanted to know, ellipsis, if it worked. Huh? And I, ellipsis. Description, Luther's voice grew softer. And I felt the same thing when Model 1 tested my cure on Lieutenant Zongai Sorry. What? What? Red message, he, did something peculiar happen? I deserve this pain. Every last bit of it. I deserve it. Description, Luther reached out for the watch on the ground beside him. He grabbed it by the chain and started crawling toward the edge of the sovereign eye. Description, the pocket watch's red glow grew stronger. Red message, I see. You want to die so you can pass your burden to your counterpart. <sighs> Description. Luther continued to drag his body and the watch towards the edge of the eye. <sighs> There's still a chance we can save my parents and all the Valdorians. But I need your help. These might be memories to you. And maybe my parents' deaths, me killing the Valdorians, maybe everything is already predetermined at this point. Maybe everything has been predetermined since the day we first spoke. But maybe you can help me change fate. You changed the past before. Please don't revive me. Red message, what a coward you are, Luther, leaving it all up to your counterpart. Red message, but at the same time, I'm finding myself completely attracted to this scenario you're setting up. Red message, good job, Luther. You got me interested enough to leave your parents alone for now. Huh. Red message, I'm more than excited to see what your counterpart will do. Description, Luther squeezed the chain of the watch in his hand. All I ask is that you don't revive me. Huh. My parents are still alive. Huh. Ash is alive. 
and Scarlet has more time to live now. If I die, never come back, Alvin will leave them alone. If I die, never come back, I can kill the Voldorians. System message, Luther is waiting. Luther, I can't. Please don't ask me not to revive you. One of four respond. I don't want to stop being your counterpart though. Two of four, I don't know if I can just change the past like that. Leave it to me. I got it. I, I don't want to stop being your counterpart though. Two of four responses. Button. I don't know if I can just change the past like that. I don't know if- Risk- I believe in you. Description. Luther smiled. You turned Skyward into a time twist. You brought us together. You can do it. Description. Luther reached the edge of the sovereign eye. <gasps> Description. He looked past the edge of the eye and gulped. Luther closed his eyes for a moment and took a deep breath. Description. Luther tossed himself off the eye. Description. He squeezed the pocket watch to his chest as he fell. Your journey in Elysium must end with me. <gasps> Description. Luther closed his eyes. I never intended to live in this timeline. What I did to King Janna's, I know there is a darkness in me that needs to be stopped as well. <gasps> so please don't revive me. Whatever you do, don't turn back time. Red message, I think Luther is onto something. Red message, I've been thinking. Red message, you're clearly from a future timeline. Red message, so this is the past for you or perhaps some memories? Red message, <gasps> I wonder who sent you back here? <gasps> Red message, because here's the thing. Red message, I know you're an exception, perhaps one that can alter the past. <gasps> Red message, so maybe this was never about Luther's choice to join me. Red message, maybe this was always about you. Smiley face emoji. <gasps> Don't listen to him, we can't listen to him. <gasps> I'm going to close the watch. Red message, that won't work, Luther. Red message, the burden will still be on your counterpart. Description, Luther swallowed hard. If I'm dead, then we'll all be free from Elvin. My friend. This is where we say goodbye. Description, Luther closed the watch. Description, Luther is dead. System message, Luther is waiting. Goodbye, Luther. The response chamber is green indicating magical power. One of two responses. But turn back time. Okay. The response chamber is green Now. Descriptive hail. Obviously, this is not the end of the game yet. Turn goodbye, Luther. So, I'm going to show you what happens if you click on goodbye, Luther. Luthor. Goodbye, Luther. Blah, can't talk. Resp response, description, error detected. Description, exception detected. Description, exception accepted. Your journey in Elysia has ended. App play again. Your journey. So this is what happens. Ash's parents will live. Julius and Helena never tell Ash about Luther and spend the rest of their lives mourning the loss of their son and trying to figure out why Luther would jump off the Sovereign Eye and commit suicide. Ash never develops a talent for magic, but is able to live out a peaceful life as a chef and artist inside the quarantine zone. The Kingdom of Baldur continues to thrive and Ash will grow up in a world where the tensions between Janus and Time Crests remain. Scarlet develops the Ignis Amulet and gives the credit to her brother. Soul kills her and becomes the Master of Fire. A new time crest will be born. You have reached an ending, but whether or not this is the true ending is in your hands. Okay. So now. Play again. One of two responses. We have play again. Turn back time. Or turn back time. Obviously, we can play again if we wanted. But. Turn back time. The response. I'm going to do turn back time because I'm going to show you what happens. Time. The response chamber is green indicating magical. Respond. Red message. Welcome back. Smiley face emoji. <sighs> Responded. Red, red message. This is the Alvin from your timeline, the one where Ash stands before the door. Red message. My past self figured it out. This was indeed all about you. Red message. Luther wanted to know if you would make the same choice again. Red message. Of course, he knew it was never a guarantee you could change the past, but he wanted you to remember everything regardless. <gasps> red message. But you have been quite the exception again. Red message. I never expected you to create a new past where Luther isn't even the time crest. Red message, and four, young Luther. Red message, he isn't as gifted as you at triggering exceptions. Red message, with you, I'm sure we can perfect the power to change the past one day. Sure. Back, back, chapter 14. Red message, with you, I'm sure we can perfect the power. Red message, I am happy with the decision you made. Thanks, I guess. Red message, or should I say the same decision you made before? Before? What? Red message, and I enjoyed seeing the power you wield over Elinsi and its people. I don't know that's a good thing. Red message, I can't wait to see what more you do with it. System message, Luther is waiting. I made my decision because I'm never giving up on Luther or Ash. One of four response, I needed my journey to continue. Two of, this isn't fair. I had no choice but to turn back. What have I done? Elixir, this, I, I made my decision because I'm never giving up on Luther or Ash. One of four, Let's I Let's do that decision. one. Respond, red message, and I'm not giving up on Ezra. Red message, it seems like we both made decisions to help the people we care about. <gasps> System message, memory desync detected. 22 seconds. A palish. <gasps> <gasps> so, 
13 seconds. A perish blue. This is intense. Skip timer for three seconds. Oh. Five oh. messages. A monocle red message. There's just a bit more you need to it. Red message. Looks like system. Red message. Looks like the rules have caught up with me again. <laughs> Red message, there's just a bit more you need to remember before you return to the front of the door, but I'll keep everyone waiting for you. <sighs> System message, memory sync initiating. Red message, we've taken a step towards each other. Red message, hope we can meet one day. System message, memory sync initiated. <gasps> 15 seconds. A parish skip time. 13. System message. I don't like it when the music is paused. I don't like that. I don't like that. That, some, that either means something bad's gonna happen or something else is gonna happen that you don't expect. System that five hours, 50. <clears throat> back, chapter four, the current year, 551 time. Okay. I'll be back. Because I need to buy some more. Actually, what I can do is uh, buy the uh, Master of Time again. So I'll be back. 560 gold. Gold exchange. Button. Okay, let's see, yeah. Okay, uh, uh, let's see, I need to put that, there we go. Messages, back, chapter, the current, 551 times, 500. A card, re purchase, huh? 50, price, 59, purchase, a card reader, you have, the machine, the machine, quantity, purchase, 300 times, price, price, 3, purchase, quant, price, $9, and nine. purchase, quantity, purchase, 3,300, quant, price, $39, Purchase thirteen thousand three hundred thirty quant price fifty nine dollars. Purchase a card. You have five a per fifth price quant. Purchase thirty nine price quantity. Purchase three thousand three hundred the quant price thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Purchase thirteen thousand three hundred thirty time. Purchase thirteen thousand three hundred thirty time crystals for the close. But apps the close third time in app close thirteen thousand three hundred time crap in app thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Face ID. Password required. One account image purchase purchase button secure touch shift. Capsi. O. L. Zero. R. No. Three. Symbols. Left. Cap. M. U. Dollar sign. One. X. C. Capsi. Y. H. One. One. D. Cap. R. Three. Left. B. N. S. Two. Zero. One. Seven. Return. Done. Time crisp. Purchase 13,330 time crystals for $39.99. Button. Alert. You're, you're okay. But Close. Red message. We've taken a step. Red message. Hope we can meet one. Shop. Button. Notice. Shop. No memory oracle. Music player. But pocket watch. Use mem note. Shop. Button. Shop. Memory oracle. Sh memory oracle. Skip crisp. Time crisp. Close. But time crystal. S special pack shop. Button. Wall. The, the, the memory collector. We Wallet. Now. People's bank. Apple. $63.15. The memory collector week purchase master of the master purchase master of time weekly pack for 5,000 time purchase master alert per can't buy but alert you okay but okay memory oracle shop button system message memory red message red message five hour use master of time to all right guys so i got the master of time so let's go and do this use master of time to skip busy timer for description the return back chapter 14 Red message system mess, ah. system mess, description the pocket watch click reddit description the pocket watch click open description Luther and Ezra stood on the sovereign eye the crow no gem shone brightly between them <gasps> description Ezra frowned at Luther and said time was disturbed description Luther ignored Ezra he looked around the sovereign eye description Ezra's barrier is still surrounding them blocking the view of the outside <gasps> description Luther looked down the image of the sovereign eye is blank description the red glow of the pocket watch faded Description, Luther closed his eyes. Please be there when I open my eyes. Please be there. Description, Luther opened his eyes and looked around. Description, the sovereign eye is still blank. Description, Luther looks frantic. Please lower your barrier, first mage Ezra. Description, Ezra didn't move. I need to see if King Janus is still there. Alvin said he will make King Janus kill my family, ellipsis. Description, Luther's tone is utterly distraught. Please lower your barrier so I can see if King Janus is still here. Description, Ezra glanced at Luther in silence for a moment before he sighed and lowered the barrier. Description, Luther scanned around the Sovereign Eye. Description, Luther and Ezra stood alone on the Sovereign Eye. No one first made description, huh. Luther and Ezra stood alone on the Sovereign Eye. No one else was in sight. First made huh. Ezra, ellipsis. Description, Luther swallowed hard as he looked down at the blank Sovereign Eye. 
Can you make the sovereign I show my family again? Description, Ezra looks grim. Is my sibling Ash okay? Description, Ezra said, yes. Where is Ash? Description, Ezra said, with Riley. Description, Luther paused. <gasps> I see. An ellipsis, my parents. Description, Ezra said, Janus has already killed your parents. No! No! Description, Luther dropped to his knees. No, mom and dad, ellipsis. Description, Luther clawed at the blank sovereign eye with one hand. Alvin, so you carried out your plan. Description, Luther squeezed his eyes shut. Mom and dad, I'm sorry I'm alive. Description, Luther opened his eyes and looked down at the pocket watch in his hand. You brought me back. Description, after a moment, he hugged the pocket watch to him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I burdened you. I won't do it again. System message, Luther is waiting. I'm so sorry about your parents, Luther. I didn't know they would die as soon as I reverted time. One of five risks, you're not angry with me. Two of five, how could you put me in a tough spot like I had to revive you? My story can't end here. Wait, burden me again. I made the wrong choice. I won't revive you next time. Five of five responses. I don't think that's gonna work. I'm so sorry about your system. I'm so also sorry that one. I'm so sorry about your parents, Luther. I didn't respond, it's my fault. We managed to delay their deaths for a bit, but Alvin said up front that my parents could die if I came back to this timeline. And I came back anyway. Description, Ezra looked at the crow no gem and said, I need to go. Description, the crow no gem floated above Luther and sunk back down into his body, disappearing. Description, the light vanished and Luther clutched his chest. First, Mage Ezra, wait. Description, Ezra said, I can take you with me today, Luther. Is Alvin controlling you? You can, description, is Alvin controlling you? You can control Valdorians as well, you're the first Valdorian. Description, Ezra looks annoyed. He said, Descript Description, Ezra looks annoyed. <laughs> he said, I am not being controlled. You would all be dead if I were. Description, Luther looked at Ezra. Then do you still care about Alvin? <laughs> when I visited Unity with Princess Riley, we explored the platform with the apple tree. When we neared the tree to get a closer look, we were both blasted back. Afterwards, Princess Riley told me she heard a voice. She said a <laughs> voice screamed to her, Why did it have two end like this? Why am I not even allowed to have one person? Just one. Princess Riley thought the voice belonged to you, first mage Ezra, does it? And is the person you're referring to Alvin? Description, Ezra paused. He said, Unity is outdated. I should have destroyed it a long time ago. What happened between you and Alvin, first mage? Description, Ezra covered his eyes with one hand and shook his head. He said, I need to go. Description, Luther rushed up to Ezra and grabbed onto Ezra's cloak again. Wait, there's something I need to ask you. <gasps> Description, Scarlet said, Luther. Hi! Description, Luther's eyes widened as he saw Scarlet emerge. Oh, hey. Description, Scarlet clutched her heart with her hands. Her shoes are glowing red. She's searching for Luther. Description, Scarlet said, Luther. Description, she inhaled deeply and said, I remember everything, Luther. Description, Luther's face is a mix of emotions. Description, Scarlet said, Luther, do you hear me? I remember you and our counterpart. Description, Luther looks comforted, joy reflected in his expression. He took a step towards Scarlet, but after that step he stopped and lowered his gaze. Description, Scarlet said, and my brother, Ellipsis, thank you, Luther. Description, Scarlet's voice trembled as she said, soul's alive, and it's all thanks to you, Ellipsis. Description, Ezra eyed Scarlet with displeasure. He said, another exception. <gasps> Description, Scarlet said, Luther, are you there? Please answer me. I, Description, <gasps> Scarlet said, Luther, are you there? Please answer me. I, Ellipsis, I'm so sorry for what happened. Description, Luther continued to look at the ground, an expression of sadness and remorse replacing previous joy. He took a deep breath. Goodbye, Scarlet. Description, Luther returned his attention to Ezra. There's something I need to ask you, first mage Ezra. Description, Ezra rubbed his temple as if he had a headache. He said, another time, Luther. Description, Luther squeezed Ezra's cloak. This is urgent. If you care about Alvin's aura inside me, then please listen to me now. Description, Ezra stood silently for a beat. He said, make it quick. Not here. Can we go inside an Irelium room within Boulder? I think Alvin can't hear us there. Description, Ezra paused, I Luther. System message, Ezra is teleporting Luther. Description, Luther and Ezra phased into a room filled with odd-looking things. This isn't the Valdorian Palace. Description, glowing blue specks floated around, illuminating the room. Description, Luther glanced around with wonder at the many different types of machines, gadgets, and things he'd never seen before. Description, one wall of the room opened up to a large balcony. What is this place? Are the blue specks Irelium? Description, Ezra said, Alvin can't hear us here. 
What is it that you needed to talk to me about, Luther Timekrist? I need you to take away my emotions, first mage Ezra. Description, Ezra looks annoyed. He said, you're wasting my time. I'm not going to do that for you. Description, Ezra said, I'm not going to take away your emotions or your thoughts. Does the chrono gem inside me prevent you from taking away my emotions and thoughts? Description, Ezra looks even more annoyed. He said, no. Twitter, description, Luther dug a nail into his palm. So it's not magic that's stopping you. Hmm. Even though I have Alvin's time magic, even though you hate exceptions. This chrono gem is the only thing in Alinsia that you have left of your friend. And you want to protect it. You don't want him to take it away. <gasps> Description, Ezra turned his back on Luther. He said, leave. I need to think. I want to end the time crest line. I want to put an end to whatever it is that Alvin has in place to summon more time crests and counterparts for him. Description, Ezra turned around, his eyes wide. If I can do that, then you can finally have peace, right, First Mage Ezra? If you didn't have to deal with time crests, then you can finally move on, right? Description, Ezra said, that's a big yeah. It wasn't long ago that you killed yourself to get away from Alvin and left everything up to your counterpart. Description, Ezra narrowed his eyes and said, you're standing before me now because you both failed. You can win against him. I know I failed. My parents, Ellipsis, are dead. Description, Luther placed a hand over his chest. I'm breaking apart inside. Description, Luther clutched his chest. I'll break even further if I end up killing the Valdorians. <sighs> Description, Luther I Ezra. I understand very clearly that I am now will keep losing against Alvin. That's why I need you to take away my emotions. Because if I want to stand up to Alvin, then I can't let him break me apart like this. Description, Ezra looked at Luther in silence. After a while, he sighed and said, I can see your aura. I can see your sadness for your parents and that you're telling the truth. Description, Ezra turned around, his cloak sweeping gracefully around him. He said, but I'm not going to help you. Description, Ezra said, you're asking me for a small exception, but the promises I made to myself are all I have left. I'm not going, you never, description, Whoops. Ezra said, you're asking me for a small exception, but the promises I made to myself are all I have left. I'm not going to break them for you. You never confirmed whether or not you cared about him, but I think you do, first mage. I feel like he does too. He just, he just, he, he just, doesn't, he doesn't want to admit it. You banished him and I can see you're fighting to keep him out of your life and our lives, but I can also tell he was someone very important to you. I agree. And I'm sorry I helped Alvin remind you that you care. Description, Ezra stood still with his back towards Luther. Description, Ezra said, that doesn't matter. Nothing has changed. Are you sure about that? Description, Luther frowned as he heard Ezra's tone wavering. Uh-huh. Alvin played me. He strung me around my whole life. When you didn't take me with you after seeing Alvin's aura, I panicked and passed my burden onto my counterpart. Not only that, I was going to leave the people I care about, alone in a world where Alvin is still around. Description, Luther paused. After my counterpart brought me back, I realized there's nothing more I want than to deny Alvin what he wants the most with my own hands. And what he wants the most is you. Am I right, First Mage Ezra? Description, Ezra lowered his gaze and didn't answer. Alvin seems to need time crests and counterparts to achieve his goals so I want to take that away from him too. Let me share the burden of Alvin with you. Let's protect Alinsia together. Description, Ezra looked over his shoulder. His gaze was stern. He said, stop telling me what to do. You make me sick. Ouch. System message, Luther is waiting. I'm sorry again about your parents, Luther. If I hadn't brought you back, Ellipsis. One of five, I want to get Alvin back too. Let me know how I can help. Two of five, I don't like this plan. Removing your emotions doesn't sound like a good idea. Three of, Luther, how do you know this isn't what Alvin wants? What if this is the past that's supposed to happen? Four of five, say nothing. Luther, how do you know this? Luther, how do you know this isn't what Alvin wants? What if this is the past that's supposed to respond? Description, Luther had a hopeless expression. What can I do? I couldn't change the past. Everything happened like Alvin said. The chrono gem stopped first mage Ezra. My parents are dead. And, ellipsis. Description, Luther swallowed hard. I'll probably destroy Walder, but I'll probably destroy Walder soon. I couldn't change anything. This is, this is something I can do because I still want to fight back. Description, Ezra said, don't talk like I'm going to help you. Description, a female voice said, what does Luther need your help on, Ezra? Hi! Description, Luther's eyes widened as he saw Pitor standing on the balcony. Description, Ezra frowned as Pitora walked inside and leaned against a wall, crossing her arms. Description, Atora's voice no longer sounded sad or hopeless. What are you doing here, Atora, and why do you sound different again? Description, Ezra said, what are you doing here, Marsha? Description, a look of shock crossed Luther's face. Description, Portia, still looking like Petora, sighed and said, I was watching from afar what happened on the Sovereign Eye. 
I suspected that when you teleported away with Luther, you'd go here. Description, Ezra looked away from Portia. Excuse me, are you the master of illusion, Portia Del Rose? Description, Portia looked at Luther and said, I am. Description, Luther is speechless. <gasps> uh, ellipsis, Master Del Rose, ellipsis. Why do you look like the Torah? Description, Portia said, a Torah is created by my Lucinidus Ultimus spell, organic thoughts. I'm just using her to communicate right now. Description, Luther frowned. Using YouTube, map, using her? That sounds kind of wrong to me. Description, Portia said, a Torah is just an illusion, Luther. Like all other spells, she's just made up of aura and she'll fade if I don't recharge her with my aura. <sighs> Description, Luther swallowed hard. An illusion. Description, Luther took a deep breath. A Torah is an illusion. So, that's what the Torah meant by she's not really here. Description, Portia as Petora looked thoughtful. She said, she shouldn't be saying those things to you, Luther. Why are you using Petora to communicate? The first mage knows who you are, so it seems like you're not trying to use Petora to conceal your identity. Description, Portia said, I don't want to get into that right now. Well. Description, Luther paused. Why did you send Petora to steal my pocket watch? Description, Portia said, you are the youngest time curse to have managed to activate the pocket watch. Description, Luther blinked. Description, Portia looked down at the ground and murmured, 13 years old. Description, Portia looked up at Luther. In a soft tone she said, I was just hoping to give you more time to live as a kid before you got mixed up with Alvin. How do you know first mage Ezra, Master Del Rose? Description, Portia said, from a long time ago. <gasps> that doesn't really tell me much. Description, Portia eyed Ezra and said, that's all I'm going to say though. Description, Luther paused. I wonder, Ellipsis, do you remember meeting me, Master Del Rose? Description, Portia arched Petora's brow. She said, I've always known about at you, but we never met in person. Description, Portia said, why do you ask? Description, Luther paused. I guess only she remembers. Description, Portia said, is there something I should know about? It's a long story and not important anymore. That's all I'm going to say. Description, Portia paused, before she smiled. She said, okay. <laughs> System message, Luther is wait, hold up. A Torah is an illusion. One of three res- Can you ask Portia if she knows what Petora's hair colors mean? Two of three responses, say nothing. Three- Can you ask Portia if she knows- Can you ask Portia if she knows what Petora's hair- Responded, can you I remember when Petora used her ultimate spell, solid thoughts, her hair color changed. Do you know if her hair colors have any meaning, Master Del Rose? Description, Portia paused. She said, I don't know if Petora developed any personal meaning towards colors. Description, Portia said, but solid thoughts doesn't change hair color. It means she messed up. As my aura that formed her dissipates, she tends to mess up more and more. Who? Oh. Description, Luther sighed. It's still hard to hear you talk about Petora like she's just a spell. Description, Portia's expression softened. She said, I understand and I like that about you, Luther. Description, Portia said, but Petora is not a person like you or me. She's nothing but an illusion spell. Description, Ezra walked over to an empty space in the room. He sat down. Description, Portia looked at Ezra and repeated, What does Luther need your help on, Ezra? Description, Ezra closed his eyes and a glyph formed underneath him. First, Mage Ezra. Description, Luther neared Ezra's glyph. Description, Portia said, Stop. Ezra's glyph is a defensive barrier. Don't get too near or it will hurt you. What's he doing? Description, Portia said, He's gone into a trance. Description, Luther dug a nail into his palm. I guess he's not going to remove my emotions. Description, Portia eyed Luther. She said, is that what you asked him to do, Luther? Yes, I want to end Alvin's ability to summon time crests and counterparts. I don't want him to get what he wants. Not a I don't want him Oops. to get what he wants. Not after what he's done. Description, Portia said, but you're talking about removing your emotions. That seems drastic to say the least. Description, Portia said, what exactly is your plan, Luther? Why do you need to remove your emotions in order to end the time crest line? I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Description, Luther looked at his hands. They are shaking. My parents are dead because of my decisions and Alvin. I want to die. I want him to die. I can think clearly. I do know I want to fight Alvin. I know I can't fight him when my hands are shaking like this. Description, Luther took a deep breath. I know this world isn't made for someone like me, Master Del Rose. I know now that I can't get what I want the way I am. I need to be willing to go all the way. If I get a chance to kill Alvin, I don't want to miss. So I need my hands to stop shaking. <sighs> I have made up my mind. Please, I Whoops. have made up my mind. Please don't try to stop me. Description, Luther's shoulder shook. Description, Portia placed Petora's hand on Luther's shoulder. She said, it's okay. I'm not going to stop you. 
Description, Portia lowered her gaze. She said, I wish you could just be a kid, Luna, but I support your plan. You do? Description, Portia said, I want Alencia to be rid of Alvin for good. I would kill him if I could. I've wanted him gone for so long, without success, that I'm just about open to anything. You look sad. Description, Portia said, of course I'm sad. Children deserve to be protected. I should be protecting you, not the other way around. You know Alvin's name. Everyone made a big deal that he told me his name. Description, Portia said, I knew Alvin from a long time ago. After a point in his life, he got very peculiar who can call him by his real name and who can't. Alvin's main <sighs> target is first mage Ezra, right? Description, Portia nodded and said, as far as I know, yes. Alvin considers Ezra his family and wants to bring him along to explore other worlds. But taking Ezra out of Valencia will destroy our world. Description, Portia squeezed Katora's hands together. She said, not that Alvin cares if the rest of us die as long as he gets to travel with his friend. Everything he did to me was just so he could <sighs> go on vacation with the first mage. Is that really all there is to it? Description, Portia took a deep breath and looked at Luther with sympathy. Do you know what he plans to do with time crests and our counterparts? Description, Portia sighed and said, no, I don't even think Ezra knows. In fact, I don't think Alvin has ever revealed all the parts of his plan to anyone. To me, as long as Alvin is out there, it's only a matter of time before he gets what he wants. <sighs> That's what I thought too. Description, Luther looked at Portia, who is still in Katora's body. Since you know both the first mage and Alvin, I assume you're older than you appear to be, even in your own form. Description, Portia said, it's true. I've known these two for a long time and I've lived a long time, Luther. Description, Luther looked at Ezra who is still in his trance. What if the first mage chooses not to help me? Description, Luther swallowed hard. I can leave here until he helps me. Description, Portia said, we need to wait. He's trying to make a decision. If he doesn't want to help you, he would teleport away to a place where we both can't find him. Do you know what this place is, Master Delrose? I asked the first mage to take me to an Irelium room inside Baldur so we would have privacy from Alvin, but he brought me here. Description, Portia said, this is his old home with Alvin. Why? Why did he... Are the blue specks Irelium? Description, Portia nodded. Why did Ezra bring me here? That's what I want to know. Description, Portia said, I don't know. Ezra was never the type to explain himself to anyone except Alvin. Oh, wow. No, no, wait. Okay. Description, Luther glanced around the room. He walked up to a pile of plastic bags. I've never seen so many bags of barbecue chips in one place before. Description, Luther reached out for a bag. Description, Ezra said, don't touch those. Description, Ezra said, those are Alvin's chips. Description, Luther dug a nail into his palm. He likes the same type of chips as me. System message, Luther is waiting. Just eat a bag of chips. What's Ezra going to do? Kill you. One of two risk. Those chips must be expired. Ellipsis. Two of two responses. Uh, those chips must be expired. Ellipsis. Respond. We are used to getting items from the human world that taste funny. But barbecue chips are my favorite so I'll eat them even stale. Description, Ezra said. Let me guess. You're talking to the human. Description, Luther nodded. Description, Ezra looked at Luther with a grim expression. Description, Portia stepped in front of Ezra and said, I think you should grant Luther's wish. Description, Portia said, you know Alencia would be a lot safer if Alvin was dealt with and if you're not willing to do it yourself, then let Luther try. Description, Ezra said, stop telling me what to do. Description, Ezra frowned. Description, Ezra lied Luther and said, I will help you, Luther, because I don't care about Alvin. Description, Ezra said, but, you have to help send him home. Description, Ezra said, I want the time crest line to end too, but whatever your plan ends up being to achieve that, you will not kill him, Luther time crest. I will kill you before I let that happen. Description, Portia said, I knew seeing his aura affected you, Ezra. You can't let Alvin get inside your head. Not ever. Remember that. Description, Ezra said, seeing his aura today was a shock, but nothing has changed. Description, Ezra directed his grim expression at Portia. He said, I just don't want to kill the one person that showed me mercy when I was nothing. It's a token of my gratitude to him, that's all. Description, Portia sighed and said, Alvin is not that kid anymore. Description, she said, Ezra. After all this time, I'm sure even you can see that Alvin will never leave us alone. You need to finish what you started and do something yourself about Alvin. So how old is Alvin, actually? I'm curious. Description, hmm. Portia said, otherwise, more people, children, she looked at Luther before continuing to say, will continue to suffer because of your weakness. Description, Ezra's gaze fell across the objects in the room. He looked at all the gadgets, the machines and snack foods. Description, Ezra said, no, I will only help you, Luther, if you promise not to kill Alvin. Description, Portia walked up to Ezra and looked him in the eyes. She said, I don't know who's crazier, Alvin or you for still caring about someone like him. Description, she said, if I could, I would kill you both to protect this world. 
Description, Portia continued to peer up at Ezra. She said, remember the toxic plasma is leaking in because of the holes you and Alvin created in the Great Halcyon Barrier, Ezra. Description, Portia said, you may be able to repair those holes, but there are some mistakes you made that you can't fix. Remember that you weren't even there for. Description, Portia looked at Luther and took a deep breath. She closed her mouth. Description, she and Ezra looked away from each other and there was silence. Okay, I promise. All I want is to keep Alvin from getting what he wants the most. I'll send him home because I believe there are things worse than death for him. Description, Ezra nodded and said, I've never taken away just the emotions of someone before so I'm not certain what the exact outcome or side effects of this will be. That's a chance I'll have to take. Description, Ezra nodded. He said, are you ready? Description, Luther looked down at the pocket watch. Without my emotions, I'm not sure how I'll think of you after this. Description, Luther swallowed hard. I hope you don't hate huh? me afterwards. System message, Luther is with you, my friend. I couldn't hate you. Not after everything we've been through. One of four responses. But I don't know if we're meant to be friends. What about Scarlet? She rem I guess we'll have to see how it goes. Four of four, what? I you're my friend. I couldn't hate you. Let's you're do that one, because... Description, Luther smiled. Thank you for being with me during my darkest moments. The bad things aren't over yet. I hope we'll stay friends through all of it. Description, Ezra is staring at Luther intently. I'm ready. First mage Ezra. Description, Ezra walked over to Luther and placed a hand on his head. His expression looked sad. Ezra stood still. First mage Ezra. Description, Ezra didn't respond. Are you ready, first mage? Description, Ezra sighed and waved his hand over Luther's head. Luther lost consciousness and started to float, suspended in the air. Description, light appeared to come out of Luther and form a spiraling sphere in front of his body. Description, the pocket watch dropped to the ground. Description, Ezra picked up the pocket watch and glanced down at his reflection in the watch face. Description, Ezra closed the pocket watch. Of course he did. System message, connection, 11 hours, skip timer for one skip <gasps> crystal. You cannot use master of time since the timer, descriptive hail, button. All right. Pocket watch. A red Let me see if I can get the dragon beer, blah, blah, dragon beer, dragon berry elixir. I cannot say that. Inbox. But history, but history, in relationships, infinity pouch, a red badge, gold currents, currents, TOD generator, TOD generator, mag, TOD, the late, TOD, collect, 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 alert, TOD generator, okay, there was a teleport orb waiting in the TOD generator slot, gained one teleport orb, behind the teleport orb, there was also a dragon berry yes! in the slot, okay, but gold, the item, owned, okay, or, or, dragon teleport map, te dragon berry elixir, the item, o the dra dragon berry elixir, drink, but drink, but drink it. Alert. Okay. Button. And okay. okay. Or a push in. Consumables. Heading. Go back. Come on. Five hours. Skip timer for one skip. Skip time. Alert. Not enough. You do not have enough skip crystals to skip. You need what? Cancel. Buy more. Cancel. Ah, come Five on. Five hours. 58 minutes. 30. Messages. Now. Matthew Evans. To you. Maybe. Denise Barajas and two other. Okay. <sighs> I knew that would happen. Okay. Help. Skip descriptive hail. Skip timer for one skip. Let's skip, skip timer. timer. Can buy more. I can buy more quantity. here. Purchase one. Purchase six. Purchase quantity five. Purchase six hundred eight price. Quantity one skip crystals. Price six hundred. Purchase one skip crystal. All right. Purchase we'll buy one. Purchase. Buy button. Buy. Alerts. Okay. But okay. Close button. Close button. Close button. Close. Purchase twenty skip. Ah. Purchase twenty. Can't get out of that. Five. System message. Five system five, skip timer for one skip timer for one skip crisp eight thousand one concurrent year chapter fourteen description Ezra side and wave the description Ezra picked up the pocket description dis description Luther and King Janazer description the pocket watch clicked open description <gasps> Luther and King Janazer sitting across the table from each other in an Irelian room inside Boulder description Luther looked down at the pocket watch before placing it on the table Janus tapped his finger on the armrest of his chair as he looked at Luther description Janus continued to tap his finger. Description, Janna said, are you here to kill me for killing your parents, Luther Time Crest? Description, Luther looked up at Janna's. You are the one responsible for my parents' deaths. I know you are just Alvin's puppet. <sighs> Description, Janna shook his head and said, of course you're not going to kill me. You're Luther Time Crest. You don't have what it takes. Description, Janna narrowed his eyes at Luther. He paused before saying, Alvin, Alvin Time Crest. Is that the name of the first human? <gasps> Description, Luther nodded. Description, Jana said, Alvin, I finally know the name of my enemy. I've heard that before. Description, Jana's looks confused. Luther didn't offer an explanation. It was foolish of you to come out of your Irelium palace and expose yourself to Alvin's mind control. Description, Jana said, you were the one who pressured me to try to save my daughter. You didn't help Riley because I pressured you, King Jana's. The ruler of the most powerful empire wouldn't succumb to pressuring by a teenager if he didn't love his daughter. 
Description, Janna's examined Luther for some time without saying anything. Luther looked calmly back at him. Description, Janna said, I understand my moments of weakness for my daughter cost your parents their lives. Description, huh? he said, what I don't understand is why the first human wanted to kill Julius and Helena. Description, Luther shrugged as Janna's narrowed his eyes. My parents were just tools for Alvin to toy with me. Because Alvin is someone who likes to play with people. Description, huh? Janna's took a deep breath. He said, there's something different about you. Your calmness right now is unnatural, Luther. Description, Janna said, you must be here for revenge in some form or another. Description, Luther looked Janna's in the eye. My parents are already dead. Getting revenge for the dead is an emotional thing. It's meaningless. It's not like they are going to come back to life if I kill you. Description, Janna stopped tapping his finger on the armrest of his chair. He leaned forward in his chair and said, am I still talking to Luther Timecrest? But I am here to kill you, just not for revenge purposes. Description, Janna said, you kill? Temporus death blow. <gasps> Description, Janna's froze. Description, Luther got up and searched King Janna's clothes for the dagger. He placed this. Description, Luther got up and searched King Janna's clothes for the dagger. He placed a dagger against Janna's throat. Warning, guys, this will get intense. I forgot to mention this. Uh, I've... I'll just say it from now on. Chapter 14 and up is gonna be very intense. Description, Luther unfroze time. Description, Janna's eyes widened as he stared into Luther's cool, violet eyes, just inches away. Description, Janna said, how did you? Description, Janna sighed and said, you froze time? Description, Luther nodded. Description, Janna said Luther's hand that held the dagger. Luther's hand is perfectly still. Description, Janna's leaned back in his chair and said, well, you finally grew some backbone, Luther time cursed. But threatening me with a dagger isn't the same as killing me with it. Killing you is not enough. I'm going to kill all the Valdorians. <gasps> Description, Janna's narrowed his eyes at Luther and said, what did you say, Luther time crest? Description, Luther lowered his dagger and walked back around the table to take a seat. I'm going to kill all the Valdorians. Description, Janna's clasped both hands onto the edge of the table and said, you are crazy, Luther. Not that I think you can do it, but even so, you're not walking out of here after saying that to me. Don't you want to get rid of Alvin? Description, Janna's frowned. He said slowly, I do consider the first human the greatest threat facing Alicia. I will do anything in my power to destroy him. We all have to make sacrifices to get what we want. Are you willing to make sacrifices to destroy Alvin, King Janus? Description, Janna said, sacrifices are a constant for a Valdorian king. <sighs> Description, Luther smiled. Then I will kill all the Valdorians with magic guns clearly from the human world. Description, Luther pointed one finger upwards. I'll use Wheel Breaker Nemesis that floats above to destroy Walder. Description, Janna looks astonished. He eyed Luther for a long time before Janna's expression changed to distress and fear. Description, Janna said, in a low tone, I can tell when a man is serious. I am serious. Rule Breaker Nemesis actually requires a great sacrifice of blood to operate. Huh. So I will actually have to kill a bunch of Valdorians with my own hands to collect the blood it needs. I'll basically have to do the work I want Rule Breaker Nemesis to do, but I'll make sure Alencia knows that it was a human Rule Breaker that brought down Baldur. Description, an expression of anger spread across Janna's face. He said, you coward, Luther Timecrest, you're just going to kill my people when we're frozen, aren't you, without giving them a chance to defend themselves. You're trying to give your people a chance, but calling me names doesn't hurt my feelings, King Janus. Also, there's no need for me to freeze anyone. I have my ultimate level spells. Freezing all of you would be an unnecessary step as Valdorians never flee from battle because of how well you trained them. Description, Janus looks stunned. Description, Janus said, you have ultimate level spells now too? Description, Luther nodded. Yes, from another lifetime. Description, Janus sighed and closed his eyes. He shook his head. Description, Janna's opened his eyes and said, What did you do to Luther Timecrest? Whoever you are, you're not the boy I remember. Luther Timecrest is dead. I decided it was time for a new me. <gasps> Description, Janna's licked his lips. He shook his head. Description, Janna said, How, how is destroying Valdor going to get rid of Alvin? Alvin can control Valdorians. Killing all of you will weaken his powers inside Alencia. <gasps> Description, Janna said, But do you want to pin the destruction of Valdor on your own people, Luther? Time crests are always humans. That's why you wanted to pin the Valdorian disease on humans so that Alencia would get rid of possible candidates for Alvin's descendant. Description, huh. Janna's looked at Luther without saying anything. But your plan failed because you weren't willing to sacrifice enough. Your disease didn't kill enough people to cause massive fear. You're not strong enough for Alvin's world, Janna's. Humans were locked up, but never exterminated. And secretly killing a few humans here and there won't put a dent into Alvin's supply for future time crests. Description, Janna said, secretly killing humans? What are you talking about? You haven't done it yet, but you will. Still, it won't be enough, Janna's. 
Though, if an empire as strong as Baldur were to be completely destroyed by human technology, then I believe the hunt for humans will begin. If I do this right, I could be the last time cursed as a result. Assuming I can find a way to locate everyone with human lineage. Description, Janna's rose up, walked to Luther and examined him from up close. Description, Janna said, here you are, talking about the annihilation of your own race like you're planning a picnic in the park. Description, Janna said, what happened to the child who couldn't even kill me, his greatest enemy at the time, when given the chance? Description, Luther paused. I made sacrifices too. Those sacrifices made me see things clearly. Carrying out my plan will result in many deaths, but it will also save many lives. I'm going to end the line of time crests with me. I'm going to literally see a Dalvin for good. System message, Luther is waiting. I want the old Luther back. One of four was, I like the new you, Luther. I'm sorry I did this to you by bringing, if you kill the Valdorians, then you are Alvin's puppet, Luther. Things will play out exactly like he predicted. Four of four was, I'm sorry I did this to you by bringing <gasps> you back. Three of four, I like the new you, Luther. Two of, I want the old Luther back. One of four, I, I, if you kill the Valdorians, then you are Alvin's puppet, Luther. Things will play out exactly like he predicted. Four of four response, if you kill the Valdorian. Resp description, Luther looked at the pocket watch. Description, Luther paused. Weakening Alvin's power over Alencio is what I need to do if I want to beat him. And I'm going to move forward with any plan that gets me closer to my own goals. Description, Janna said, don't do this, Luther. Description, Janna said, everyone in Alencia will target you because you're human too. And if I have description, huh. Janna said, everyone in Alencia will target you because you're human too. And if they find out you were the one behind the destruction of Valder, you'll be the only one punished. Huh. I have a serum that can delete people's memories. Description, huh. Janna swallowed hard. I can freeze anyone I want. The destruction of Valder will happen, King Janna's. I have enough power to destroy this empire whether you agree to it or not. Huh. Description, Janna sat down again and perched one finger on his lips. His eyes were focused away from Luther. Description, Janna said, you're planning to delete my memory of this conversation? Description, Luther nodded as Janna's turned away from Luther and walked over to the wall. Description, Janna said, why even tell me then? Do you really think I'll give you my consent for destroying my empire? Description, Luther traced a watch face with his thumb. No, this isn't for your consent. I wanted to borrow your Irelium wall so I can speak with my counterpart in privacy one last time before I carry out my plans. <gasps> I'm going to close the watch after this. Since Alvin Zora is inside me, I no longer need the watch to communicate to him. Keeping the watch open only provides Alvin with a connection to his home in the human world. And my goal isn't to give him more options. <gasps> Description, Jan has looked over one shoulder at Luther. Description, Luther paused, looking down at the watch as it emanated a blue glow. But I'm grateful you brought me back and gave me another chance for all of this. I want to come to your world one day. It will be nice to have a friend in a new world. That is why I wanted to take time to tell you my plans before I cut off communication between us. I want to give closure for the time we spent together and say that I do hope we meet again when the time is right. <gasps> System message, can we really be friends if you don't feel anything, Luther? One of five risks, you're my friend. I could hate you. Not after everything we've- we can't be friends. Not with you like this, what about Scarlet? Four of five, what about Lieutenant Zone Val Selby's daughter, Zoe? Five of five responses, what about Lieutenant Zone Val Selby's daughter, Zoe? Five of five, responded, what about Lieutenant- right. From the- Zoe, right. From the party. Zoe is a Valdorian, so she'll die too when I destroy Walder. Why? <laughs> Why? Why does it have to have kids die too? I don't like this. I don't like this. I really don't like this. Description, Jana said, I still don't get what happened to you, Luther Time Cursed. Why do, you, why do children have to be involved in this? I don't like that. It's time. Description, Janna said, wait, please don't, Des description, Janna said, wait, please don't kill my daughter. Other than the time she was possessed by the first human, Riley has never tried to harm you. Description, Luther sat quietly. Description, Janna's looked at Luther's icy expression. Description, Janna's cleared his throat and said, the Valdorian palace has a flight function that can only be activated by royal blood. Description, Luther eyed the walls of the room. This whole place can fly. I guess you had other architects other than my father. Description, Janna's nodded and said, a lot of this palace was designed by your dad, but not all of it. Description, Janna said, take some of my blood now. If you fly the palace away before you destroy Walder, you'll have a piece of something your dad worked on. All this Irelium could be useful to me if I want privacy from Alvin. Description, Janna swallowed hard. Description, Janna said, right. Just don't kill my child. Riley will be a good blood source for you. Where is Riley now? Description, Janna's fell quiet. I'm not asking so I could go hunt her down. I want to destroy Walder soon, so if she is still inside here, then she will die. Description, Janna said, Riley is with your sibling, Ash. After I killed your parents, she took Ash and ran away. She is your friend, Luther, remember that. 
It doesn't matter if your daughter lives or dies. What I'm really after is Alencia's resolve to exterminate humans. If there are no more humans, then Elvin loses his ability to make more time crests. <gasps> I am interested in the flight function of the Valdorian Palace, so if Riley is a decide Balder when I'm carrying out my plans, then she'll live. Getting Riley to give me her blood should be simple enough. Description, Luther looked Janice in the eyes. I may even keep you alive since having the last Valdorian king could prove to be useful someday. On that note, I'm not sure if the Lincians will care enough about Walder's destruction to hunt all humans down after, but I'm willing to test out my hypothesis. <gasps> Description, Janaz is shaking in rage. The day there are no more humans in Alencia will be the day Alvin loses. <gasps> and I will also become more valuable to Alvin the fewer humans there are left in Alencia. <gasps> Description, Janaz picked up the dagger <gasps> that Luther put down on the table and lunged at him. He shouted, you better kill me when you destroy my empire, Luther Time Christ, or I will make you wish you were dead. Temporus death blow. Description, Janna's froze. Description, Luther eyed froze in Janna's. He buried half his face with his hand and laughed to himself. It's ironic, isn't it? I once so deeply believed that I could never destroy Walder. I'm laughing. Description, Luther touched his lips. And I can still laugh. Description, Luther picked up the pocket watch, raising it up to his face. I wonder what I would be thinking right now if Ezra didn't remove my emotions. Description, Luther paused. The old Luther would think. I'm just a puppet. I was never meant to be free. Description, Luther smiled and closed the pocket watch. System message, <gasps> connection lost, 4 hours, 50, use master of time to skip, <gasps> use master of time to skip, back, chapter 15. Okay, that's the end of chapter 14. So that's it for today's video. If you guys have any more questions, please put them down in the comments below, or you may send them to info at thetechpianoplayerkid.com. You can also give me a text at 913-312-1325. And if you do not live in the United States, you can text me through WhatsApp and give me a call there as well. I also have a toll-free number that you can use to give me a call at 877-318-8775. Please also follow me and like my Facebook page, The Tech Piano Player Kid, and follow me on Twitter, tech underscore piano. And you can also join my discussion forum on my website where you can ask questions about technology and help answer questions about technology for the blind and stuff like this by going to thetechpianoplayerkid.com and clicking on the discussion board page underneath the navigation bar menu where you can register for a free account and help to answer questions and ask questions if need to be. Please make sure that you get permission from your parents if you still need to do so before making an account. Just to make sure that you're on the safe side and that you don't want to get in trouble because we don't want that to happen. And you can also subscribe to my monthly newsletter if you wish by going to my website, thetechpianoplayerkid.com. Again, if need to be, get permission from your parents just to be on the safe side. And you can unsubscribe at any time if you wish. And you have any trouble with unsubscribing or creating an account or deleting your account, please let me know and I will do my best to help you out. Anyway, that's it for today's video. God bless you all and peace. The Tech Piano Player Kid is out. Thank you for watching today's video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications and leave a comment down below. For questions, please send an email to info at thetechpianoplayerkid.com. You can also give a call or text at 913-312-1325. And don't forget to like my Facebook page, The Tech Piano Player Kid, and follow me on Twitter, tech underscore piano. Black background with white text that reads The Tech Piano Player Kid displays on the screen with the same text written to the right in Braille, then fades to black.